Douglas County has seen a significant drop in people experiencing homelessness, down 44%. Now, historically, the rural county has had a small homeless population. For comparison, it's just 1% of the homeless population in Denver County, according to last year's point in time account. Now, in a town hall tonight, the Board of County Commissioners credited a countywide partnership for this success. Number 7's Claire Lavazorio in Castle Rock tonight. Douglas County is touting a success over a reduction in homelessness. Unfortunately, in places like Seattle, San Francisco, um, Portland, uh, people have become victims of their own compassion. Commissioner Abe Layden says the county is still taking a heart first approach. Right now we have about 40 total uh, unsheltered homeless. And our heart team knows pretty much every one of them by name. 40 people experiencing homelessness today, according to county commissioners. In January of 2023, the latest point in time survey results showed there were 72. The Homeless Engagement Assistance and Resource, or HART team, brings together a navigator, someone who's trained to handle people experiencing a crisis, as well as local law enforcement to respond to community calls for those on the streets. Dan Marlowe runs Help and Hope Center in Castle Rock. He's seen the benefit of the Heart Team firsthand. They, they show up um, pretty quick and take it from there, and it's been a wonderful um, partnership. Many of those resources come from money donated to the Handouts Don't Help campaign. 70 signs across the county urging residents to donate to the Douglas County Community Foundation or 100% of the proceeds went directly to nonprofits instead of giving to people panhandling in intersections. The conversation also addressing Douglas County's take on newly arrived immigrants. I'd like to ask you what you're going to do or what you plan on doing when a busload of illegal aliens roll up to town, start unloading the illegal aliens. What's going to happen to them? We're going to arrest that driver. Well, the passengers on the bus, uh, we'll, we'll take them to a shelter in Denver. Next week, the county plans to adopt an ordinance which could fine bus drivers $1,000 per rider if a busload of immigrants is dropped off in Douglas County. Reporting in Castle Rock, I'm Claire Lavazorio for Denver 7. And taking a closer look, Douglas County took a stance earlier this month on two state laws that limit local law enforcement from cooperating with U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. The Board of Commissioners unanimously approved a resolution directing the county attorney to take legal action and allow local agencies to assist federal immigration officials. We're being invaded. They are coming into this country. They don't have means to provide for themselves, and we don't have means to provide for them. And this is a step that I feel that this board must take to, to preserve the safety and the welfare of our citizens. The state laws the board is referring to is one passed in 2019, prohibiting local governments from cooperating with immigration enforcement. The second law passed in 2023 prevents local agencies from being involved in immigration detention. And that went into effect at the start of this year.